Hello everybody and welcome back to the Excessive Gaming Channel and Farm Simulator 2017. This is our Let's Play series and today we are up to episode number two of Lawfolds. So if you could quickly drop us a like it would be much appreciated and of course if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well. So let's jump straight into today. We did uh, finish the... Uh, Harvesting off on uh, field 26. Uh, we did that off camera. It was quite a long winded job. We started baling, of course. And uh, yeah, we've started to bring those bales over into this shed here. This is where we're going to store the uh, straw bales, I think. We've got, as you can see, quite a few in here. The stacks are three, three, six, nine, twelve. 15, 18 already in that row. So two 18s, 36, and 3 is 39, 42, 45, and 48 bells we've already got in the shed just here. We've of course been using the uh, Manitou to get them brought in, or rather stacked into the shed nicely. But uh, to get them actually brought in, what we did do, uh, try to use in was the truck, the Tatra uh, Terrano truck with the flatbed on. But unfortunately it seems to be glitching out a bit, it seems to chuck the bowels off. So we kind of gave up with that. And what we done, we quickly nipped off to the shop and purchased this trailer. So yeah, this is the Flegel trailers same as the standard one in the game but this is a mod and it does have the auto bow feature included auto stacker included so what it will do is stack the bows up for us and make it easier to unload the bows as you can see we've got a few bows sitting around the trailer itself can take uh, 24 bows at a time so we should do that later on we've got it on to the 310 vario which of course is a rather small tractor and it does struggle once it's fully loaded but what we're going to do today like I say episode number two is start bailing up the rest of this field as you can see there is quite a fair old bit of it so what we're going to do is jump into the uh, JCB Fast Track 8310 it's the big JCB one we've got the Challenger LB44B big baler on the back this is the square baler as you can see and yeah we've got the quadro pack v which is the four stack uh bow stacker so what that does is as soon as it spits out of here it travels across the uh, rollers slides itself in and then stacks itself up into four so we're going to get that done today is the plan just uh lower that down turn that on we're going to put the beacons on because it's got to be done got to have some beacons and off we go as you can see the uh, bowels sliding across there and then that of course raises that up like so So let's carry on, see how it works, we know how it works now. So like I would say we've got what, half a field to get done, we've already pulled 48 bales off as we said, we've still got some more stacks there. And as we said in the uh, previous episode, episode number one, we said that we would be having the goal of um, selling pigs off when the price is right there we go that's full so we can unload that carry on going drop that there close that back up and carrying on so yeah the goal is of course like say to uh, sell pigs on a regular basis and when the price is right but uh, before we do that we need to start them breeding of course 
we are uh, in late autumn sorry early autumn can't read now but there we go yeah we are in uh, early autumn so as you can tell most of the, uh, the first season's gone we didn't want to start at the beginning of spring because it's a lot of uh, messing about and setting up As we say, we've got uh, ourselves set up with this series. Drop those bells off there. Close the gate back up, and we can cause carry on. Yeah, so we've got all the setting up done before the series started. We've got uh, a bit of a exploration mission still to do within this series to show you around the map. I think what we may do is take the uh, transit van off that we've got and have a little drive around the map. So you can uh, explore with us. We've of course, like I say, been playing this map in the setup process so we've done a bit of exploring. We know a reasonable sort of uh, amount of the map still places that we've not fully explored but uh, <coughs> I'm sure we can uh, all head round together again if there's uh, any jobs that you would like to see within this series let us know <coughs> Like I say, we are going to focus on the pigs. I know a lot of people say that the pigs are a waste of time and money. But uh, we're going to put this to the test within this series. See how expensive the pigs are. But uh, surely with the uh, expense of them should come some good quality money. Is the theory. So we will go through this and check it out within this series. As we've uh, also said prev in the previous episode, what we will be doing is aiming for about 30 to sort of 35 minutes thereabouts each episode. We don't want them too long, but we don't want uh, too short either. Again, this was part of your feedback. We do uh, like to take your suggestions, put them in within the series. We are looking at uh, obviously continuing our farming simulator videos as we do enjoy the game. But we have got in the pipeline some other games uh, being uh, sorted out. Yeah, we're going to be doing either Let's Plays or Reviews. <coughs> if there's uh, anything that you would like us to look at, either for a review purpose or just to see some gameplay, let us know in the comment section what games you would like to see. So like I say, we are in a process of uh, looking at other games, ordering games, etc. We are going to be doing uh, quite a few more reviews and first impression videos as well. But again, that's all to come within the future. It's something that we are working on in the process. But back to this series. Like I say, we are on series number seven. Can't believe how time has flown, flown by. It's 
think uh, we started playing this as soon as it came out in uh, October uh, 2016 I think it was October 2016 we're now in March 2018 and we are of course ready for the next farm simulator to come out which will be farm simulator Farming Simulator 19, and we spare our words out. We, of course, will be uh, getting that and uh, doing a Let's Play series once again. some very good progress we've got four bells on that not even realizing so, yeah like I say I think uh, We'll get this bell in finished, we'll start collecting some more bells up. And then we can get those put into storage. We did uh, give the pigs uh, two bells. And like I say, they was uh, very much requiring that. And of course, I've now got a reproduction value. The bells on there again, we'll drop those. Before we get carried away, what we'll do is just stop, have a quick look at those animals. And as you can see, we own 50 pigs. The health, <coughs> excuse me, the health is not particularly good at the moment, but the uh, crops, uh, sorry, yeah, all the feeds and water, etc., the straw in, are in there. That is all uh, topped right up. The reason there's no reproduction um, time at the moment. That's because, like I say, we've only just turned the game back on for another day for recording. So what we'll do is uh, we'll check that out a bit later on and see how they are doing. I think it's about every 16 hours that they are reproducing at the moment. I'd say that is in-game hours. We've currently got the game set on uh, uh, real-time speed. In fact, what it might be worth doing. No, nope, because uh, I was just about to say let's get time fast forwarded a bit. But uh, we best not, as uh, we have snow forecast according to the weather. Don't want to ruin these bowels that we've got. Of course, you leave bowels out in the rain or bad weather. They do uh, start to rot away and deteriorate. As you can see, we have 4,000 litres per bowel. Is what is currently stored in them. You see, it gets to 4,000 then resets the counter. Yeah, 4,000 litres per bow. If, of course, you leave it out in the rain, that figure starts to reduce. So, uh, always get to put it into a story, under a storage shelter. So, yeah, what we will do, once we've got the bows done and collected and out of the way, we can uh, start speeding time up a bit and progressing the seasons through. We of course want to play um, a couple of seasons at least on this farm to make it worth our while. So regarding the number of episodes we are going to be uh, 
least 40 episodes, I think. But, uh, and then we'll look at another new map. Of course, we are doing at least five episodes a week. So we're looking at what... Uh, about eight weeks of this series. It's uh, towards the end of March now, so you're looking at uh, maybe the end of May or thereabouts that this series will finish. Again, depending on uh, the way the seasons flow. So, as you can see, the bowels are absolutely spitting through. We had a very good uh, yield on this field. Like I say, we did uh, plough the field over. We got it uh, three courses of fertiliser on here. So, yeah, we've had quite a good crop out of this field so because of course we have ploughed the field we don't need to plough it for another two crops at least which is why we've got the uh, Verdestad uh, Rapid A600S because what that will do is cultivate the field for us so dig over the land with what's already on here course can just plant in the same crop or a new crop. You wouldn't normally plant the same crop one after another. Normally it's a different crop that goes in otherwise you're using all the ground nutrients. So like I say we had wheat on this field it'll probably be uh, rapeseed on here next. As you can see, the bells are soon stacking up. I'm not entirely sure how many bells we would need for a full season. But like I say, we are going to be uh, producing pigs. I think uh, once we've got to about 100 pigs. We shall then uh, have quite a good reproduction rate. And then of course we'll be able to start selling them on a regular basis. But like I say, what we are going to prim primarily do is be a pig farmer. Where you actually farm pigs.
sometimes it's a cruel way of looking at life, but uh, unfortunately that's how life is. So yeah, we've been uh, recording for a good uh, 20 minutes. If you uh, are enjoying today's video, remember to drop us a like on the video. And of course, if you are new to our channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well, as it does uh, help the channel grow. If uh, for any reason you are disliking today's video, rather than uh, just hitting that dislike button, which you are more than welcome to do, but uh, if you do dislike today's video, please uh, drop in the comment section why you've disliked the video, as uh, obviously we can then make changes. Obviously if we're doing something wrong, then uh, we can change it up for the next episode. Again, we uh, value your feedback. making some very good progress. I think what we're going to do, once we get to the end of this road, we, uh, we are going to stop. And we're just going to start some bow collecting so that you can see how the process works. So what we're going to do, like I say, is uh, let's turn that baler off. We can lift the pickup up and we can unload the baler. That'll spit out any remaining bales. Put those in the stacker. There we go. And then we'll just shut that engine off there. I'm going to quickly run on over to the uh, uh, Fent 310 Vario. Like I say that, <coughs> excuse me, that's got that uh, bell trailer on the auto uh, collector. I'm sure many of you have probably seen this mod by now. It's been out for quite a while. But uh, it takes away a little bit of the real un yeah, takes away the realism of bow stacking. But uh all you need to do drive alongside the bowels and it starts collecting as long as you've got it in uh, the operating position of course and there we go. As simple as that. Twenty four bowels at a time.
It's a nice, uh, <coughs> excuse me, a nice simple job. Of course, if we drive through the middle of two stacks here, we'll stack from both sides. There we go, two more. In fact, if we've got two more, let's uh, come around to those odd two we've got in the bow stacker. I wonder if it'll take it straight out of the bow stacker for us. No, it won't take them straight out. So what we're going to quickly do, leave that there for a second, jump in. Let's... Uh, Unload those bowels, start the engine up, we need to move forward. We can drive just round the back of those two bowels. There we go. So, yeah, as you can see, it's trying to unload them straight away. Let's quickly get that sorted out. There we go. So it looks like they're actually on the trailer for transport. If we change that to transport position, then we can still move them. We'll do that in just a moment. So out of the field. As you can tell we've still got that lag problem, so we're not entirely sure what that's all about. So when you come to where you want to unload the bells, you put it into uh, unload position, you move the bells where you want them to go. In that case there and then say unload valves and unload valves here it drops them down and then we can of course turn around out of the way put the trailer back into operating position like so Course, drive back to the field and carry on. Once again, just drive alongside the various bowels. Like so, and it starts loading them all up again. So all you're doing is just taking away the process of actually loading the bowels up. It's a bit like a normal auto stacker would be. So it has no animation. Again, just drive alongside the bells. And that is us full once again. Why oh, it keeps uh, Putting it straight out, I'm not sure. Shouldn't put them straight out like that. But uh, it's another job that gives you a bit of uh, time saving. Can be quite annoying to be honest, uh, stacking up if your stacking is really bad. Side where you want them, like so, roughly about there, and then move them into the where you would like them unloaded. Take them away from there a bit, otherwise, they're gonna uh, 
drop on. Unload bells, unload bells here. As you can see, it's gone a bit uh, wobbly, those ones. That's because it's on a hill. Right back into operating position. Put it into transport position. And back to the field one more time. So, recording for just over half an hour now. Like we say, we want to aim between 30 and 35 minutes each episode. Which means getting a few bits and pieces done each day. So, as we drive along side yeah there we go it's not collected now because i've got it in transport position put it in operating position and it starts collecting straight away four there so as you can see we've still got a few bows on the field but uh, yeah there we go I knew that do that again let's put it in transport position like that no it still wants to immediately unload not to worry not to worry so we're going to take this back into the yard course what we're going to do is use the uh, Manitou just to get the bowels put under cover and then we can start speeding up the game process of course uh, sorry game time itself we're not going to sit through uh, watching me doing the uh, putting away of the bells as that can be very tedious especially when it goes horribly wrong but uh, yeah that's pretty much the process itself shut that off there for the time being plenty of bells to get put away now like I say, the mana two could pick up uh, a stack of four. Sometimes it can pick up the six together if you come in on this angle of them. Sometimes it does make it struggle and it uh, jumps around and then you end up losing the bowels. So we'll have a quick look at the animal menu. As you can see, we have 50 pigs. Health is at 36%. Reproduction rate is 16 hours and 18 minutes. That is in-game hours. The next animal is due in 5 hours and 16 minutes. Liquid manure, we have 16,000 litres. Solid manure, we currently have 208 litres. And that is because the straw has only just gone in. Cleanliness is at 92%. Water, uh, 3,700. Straw is at 7,800. Corn is at 12,900. Wheat or barley, 7,000 litres. Canola sunflowers or soybeans is at uh, 5,600 litres and potatoes or sugar beet is at 1,400 litres. And the reason they are all full is because we used the uh, food bags from the store. If we come on down towards the pigs, that is why we have the Man uh, TGS lorry. It's the Man TGS jump on in, yeah the man TGS agro truck and as you can see in the trailer is some pig food there's only 708 litres left so we're going to unload that there we go, that's that done Let's start the engine might help so we're going to take this on out of the way now, we don't need this at the moment I think what would be a good idea is maybe in the next episode we shall get rid of that lorry out of the way get it returned, it is only on hire 
we've uh, not purchased it. Like I say, the liquid manure in there in the tank is starting to fill up. That's all pumped for it, and the manure, of course, is starting to fill up as well. We've left two bowels here ready to put straight in with straw. And what uh, the pigs chuck out as a mess is, of course, corn. So uh, when you uh, scrape up and put straight back in, it puts extra corn in. But uh, there we go. We've got the uh, JCB Fast Track 3000 Extra with the water bowser on. That is full, so we don't need to worry about that. But like I say, that is going to be it for today's episode. I'm surprised this bar's missing here. I'm surprised the pigs haven't escaped. But uh, not to worry. But yeah, that's going to be it for today. We are going to get those bowels put away into storage. And finish off the baling on field 26. But uh, if you have enjoyed today's video, remember to drop us a like. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you are new, of course. If you could share this video with family and friends or anybody else that you think may enjoy today's video, it would be much appreciated. And yeah, thank you very much for watching, and we shall see you in the next one. Bye for now.